Alright, so I'd add some entertainment to your life. Uh, some of these videos kind of get boring, so <laughs> I just thought I'd be an idiot today. Anyway, then, this is Dustin uh, with Aztec Dragons, and uh, we've got another unboxing. Uh, what I'm doing. Anyway, um, we've been waiting for these for a long time. We used to have, let's see, we used to have three pairs and another male. Um, these are a Bronia Gramania. We used to have them, but we had to move, and unfortunately, we had to let our um, our group, our colony, go. Uh, we sold them to somebody with uh, Living Planet Aquarium, and as far as I know, they're doing really well. Um, so it was really sad when that, that happened, but we're finally getting them back in. Um, we're going to gradually build up our colony. We're hoping to branch out to to different um, species. This is Gramania, which is the green ones. They're commonly known as Mexican. Um, Gosh, mind blank. Mexican alligator lizards, and um, they are um, these are captive bred ones, and but they originate out of Mexico. They live in the cloud forests, where um, super humid there, and um, they call it the cloud forest just because of the humidity. It's up higher in the mountains, and just a constant cloud there of, of humidity and so they live in in cool temperatures uh ranging you know from i think around 30 40 degrees at the very lowest um up on to about 70 80 90 you really don't want to get these guys any hotter than 90 100 degrees um that uh it can be very detrimental to them <clears throat> they do require uh high humidity they're an arboreal uh lizard and so they um, do well in screened cages, um, similar to chameleons and such. So um, anyway, we're really excited to have these guys. They are the coolest lizards. They have um, prehensile tails, which means that they can use their tail as, as a limb, or rather, it's somewhat similar to crested geckos. They can, they have function with their tail. They can wrap it around things and use it to hold on to things. Excuse me. They also they can lose their tail, but they can regenerate it as well. Anyway, a bunch of fun facts. I think we'll do some other videos later on, give you some more information, but let's go ahead and get to this unboxing. Um, these guys have been in here um, for, I mean, they, we did the 24 hour shipping, but I think that they were shipped um, to our supplier and then to us. We wanna get these guys out. And uh, I've got two tubs here. Um, they're full with just a very shallow level of water and that is so that we can get them hydrated, make sure that they are have plenty of water and we soak them in that just for you know, a short while and then um, we'll get them settled into their enclosures. Okay guys, let's get to it. And we got a pair looks like this is our female and um, she's upside down. These guys do bite. They bite pretty uh, pretty hard when they do. Um, try to take her out of here. Let's see what kind of Awesome. So they have these, they can range from really neon green to darker greens. Um, it looks like she's probably about to shed. She's a little bit darker in color. I could be wrong. Um, and I'm shaking, so Let's see if I can get her to hang out here there we go. Um, they do breed uh, or excuse me they do give their live bearers so um, and this would be the time where they they would give birth anywhere through um, May June April 
they can give birth. Uh, it doesn't look like she's pregnant. There's a possibility, but I don't really think so. Um, she's just got her arm, other arm tucked under here. But um, they do have this prehensile, prehensile, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. See, that they can wrap around. And she's starting to get a little bit more active. I don't want her running around. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put her in our little tub here. She might freak out a little bit. But we just want to make sure that uh, they get nice and hydrated here. And it's it's shallow, so she's won't, she won't drown. Um, just go ahead and leave that paper towel in there so she's got something to hang on in there. She so don't freak out. We'll just let her kind of soak a little bit. And here's our male. Males um, and females are, gosh, uh, sexually dimorphic. I think that's that's the term. I'm throwing out terms here, and if I if I get them wrong, I, I apologize. But um, what it means is that you can look at the animal and determine if they're sex just by looking at features. Um, the males' heads are typically a little bit wider, more triangulated. Um, his head comes to a point there. Um, he's actually very, very uh, cool looking green. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera. Um, not quite as dark as the female. But, um, doesn't look like they have regenerated tails. Typically if they lose their tail, It'll grow back and it will all look about the color of the, the tip there, just a dark brown, kind of black. Um, and that doesn't look to be the case. Looks like these guys all both have um, their, their, their first tail, so they're not regenerated. I apologize guys, I've got a, a cold and so I keep sniffing. He looks great. Nice yellowing around the eyes, and they typically have blue eyes. They can have black eyes as well, and that's said to be a morph, um, I believe, or a phase of these guys. But um, most of them will always have these blue, blue eyes. Beautiful animal, love these guys. Um, like I said, they do give live birth and um, they, they carry at the same length of time as a human. So they, their um, pregnancy time is nine months typically. They can carry uh, anywhere from six babies on up to a lot like 15 16 somewhere around there so they can actually carry quite a bit anyway we're gonna go ahead and get these guys soaking we'll get some update videos on them um, as always like comment subscribe um, that's more of something people say for YouTube but we do actually have a YouTube channel as well you guys can check that out that's where we're posting these videos and um, then I'm just sharing them to our page so go ahead and check out our YouTube channel, check out our Facebook channel. Um, we've also got an Instagram and um, we hope to share uh, photos with you guys. Let us know your thoughts and um, hopefully this was somewhat entertaining to you, uh, something worthwhile watching. Um, I enjoy doing this, but uh, you know, let me know if there's some changes I can make or that, that we can do to help, uh, you know, liven things up. So anyway, uh, appreciate it. Uh, thanks for all your support. And, um, you know, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, hope to hear from you guys. You guys are great. Have a great day.